Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the memorabilia and collectibles surrounding the Galactica universe. Now, every once in a while, I am going to upload what I hope is a fun series of videos, taking a look at those oddball items that I consider to be wacky, strange, and cool. And right now, we're looking at something that I think is kind of wacky, the official Battlestar Galactica Cylon sunglasses that came out in 1978 by Laramie Toys. Now, this is just a awesome piece of late 1970s kitschiness. It was available everywhere from convenience stores to gas stations to the big chain stores like Toys R Us and Walmart. And it's awesome. If you want to be a cool looking Cylon, you needed these sunglasses. And it's actually become kind of hard to find because of that awesome kitschy factor. Next up, we are going to take a look at a hardcover book that was written and published specifically for book fairs held at middle schools across the country. Simply called Battlestar Galactica and published in 1979, this book was written specifically for third and fourth graders. And it's just a general overview of the TV series with some nice information and some nice black and white photos. Now, this type of book was very popular in the late 1970s, early 1980s, and almost every TV show, movie, and even some pop bands had something like this sold at school fairs. But there's something very strange about this particular book, and it's the cover. For some strange reason, the publisher chose this horrific photo of Baltar about to be beheaded by a menacing Cylon Centurion. Take a look at this. This is just amazing, and I cannot believe they used it for a book aimed at middle schoolers. And I am sure there were a lot of parents who were not happy when their kids came home with this book. Next up is something that I think is very cool. It is the Theme to Battlestar Galactica by Stu Phillips for Piano Players. In a lot of ways, the music for Galactica has actually outlived the original TV series and is still being played by school bands and orchestras around the world. And if you've never heard it in piano, definitely seek it out on YouTube. It's not something that should be missed. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Wacky, Strange, and Cool. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. I also want to know if you were one of the lucky kids to receive that book way back in 1979 or those really cool Cylon sunglasses. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this episode a thumbs up. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica Day, everyone.